Hey guys, I'm Scott Brown, a developer for the game Journey for the Crown, and this is my 15th devlog. Now I didn't think I had a whole lot to discuss in this devlog, but I've actually been writing things down, a little list, and uh, it turns out I got quite a few things to go over here and show you guys in this new devlog. Some of the things that I've been changing recently are mostly just aesthetics and uh, scene detailing. And as you can see here, I changed the uh, terrain around to this uh, better looking cobblestone patio you see here. Uh, just to give you some perspective, here's what uh, some old footage of the city looked like with the old cobblestone. I really like the new cobblestone better. I think it gives the, uh, a bit of a more grungier look and it, it's fitting towards the style I want my game to be in. Now, I added some other things in here like sewers and drains, and the terrain is actually using a, a couple different patterns that mix in together very well using some texture tricks and um, heights that um, allow the blending to look really cool. So that's kind of the idea I was going with here. Now, the next thing I wanted to do was fix up the character creation page. There was somebody on my Twitch stream the other day that made a comment saying that, you know, everything looks really cool except for this area. It just needs a bit of work. So I, I agree. Uh, it was something that always really needed some more polish. And I've done many iterations over it. But um, I spent a couple days working on this. And uh, I'm really impressed with the way that it looks now. So with the new look, I kind of got rid of all the boxes and... Um, background bits and I'm kind of going with this darker background and, and getting rid of all the borders I found that they're kind of where the tackiness was showing up I still have a few of them maybe I'll get rid of them later on but I really do like the way that the headers are titled now with that line going through it and the gold color now I think everything isn't going in the right direction with this character creation page it's a little darker now all the buttons uh, my darken each one of them individually so that uh, it just gets a different tone to the game um, and I'm really liking the direction so far where this is going. Now one thing I had a real big problem with was V-Sync. I don't know if any of you guys are familiar with it but V-Sync basically matches the frame rate of your computer monitor to the game speed and uh, it is a useful tool so that you don't burn out your GPU in a game. So I've left the option in there if some of those hardcore people want to turn it off and get the most maximized FPS. They've got the freedom to do that. Now it's possible I might have to disable it at some point. I haven't investigated the full uh, capability of allowing full FPS. But uh, for now it's in there and I hope I can stick with it. Now the reason I say it was a big problem is because in my investigation I noticed a, a massive FPS leak compared to one of my older versions of the game. And uh, turns out it was an asset that I had for GPU grass. Once I updated it, it did fix the problem, but it took a little while to figure that out. Now someone brought it to my attention that there's no saving anywhere in the game. And I, I've always designed it that way. But it did create a bit of a... Uh, annoying grind where like say you were venturing deep into a cavern you'd have to like run all the way back to a save stone and that that is not something i want to torture anybody with however i don't want them to be able to instantly just go back like you could in diablo with teleporting portals so i opted to make a gating option so it's a scroll that you can buy and just double clicking on it will send you home now that brings me to my most exciting new feature, and that is uh, the ability to own a home. So when you gate back, you're going to gate back to this home here. Now I do have other scrolls that uh, I might be adding in so you can gate back to different places. But essentially this is the home you get to own. It's not some over-the-top housing kind of thing, and it's not going to be created into a sim where you can place and put furniture there. But... As you accomplish things, items will be populated in your room and be revealed, kind of like trophies, and you can interact with them. Like right there, I just interacted with these boots, 
And uh, there's other things too you can interact with. And I even added a save stone in there as well. So this will give people access to quickly go back to home and save the game and uh, maybe log out. And uh, so that's a convenience thing that I added in there that I think is, is going to be uh, well received versus having to run all the way back home to find a save stone. Now, I think this will also be kind of a um, a trophy case idea. I'm hoping people will find it interesting, and I'm going to make everything interactable. So when you do take down some massive dragon, you know, there might be a mount on the wall or a horn or a scale or something like that that'll just remind you of that accomplishment that you've done. Now, I was also going to add in um, more animated things like an NPC or... Maybe something even a little bit more exciting, like uh, maybe there's a lady friend and uh, you rescue her and she's just always there. I don't know. My, uh, I get excited thinking about these things, you know. What am I going to do? What can I write in there? I have to thank some of you guys. You know, your feedback's been really helpful. I had one fella, don't know who he was, but he sent in... A whole bunch of little spelling mistakes that I had littered all over the place. Um, takes me like 10 minutes tops to put all that stuff in together. I think you had about 20 of them. Real good guy. And, uh, you know, I got to thank you guys. And, you know, plenty of you have contributed so many little tiny changes. Somebody even found uh, the FPS bug. Well, sent me in the right direction. And, uh, you know, if it wasn't for you guys helping me out, I'd be uh, so much further behind than where I am right now. I still got tons to do. The content that I want to put in the game is, uh, the bar is high. I don't know, I don't really have a good date in my head of when this will be done, but it, d it doesn't matter. All I want is to make a good game. That's really all I want. I'm not in a huge rush. I don't, I don't have budget constraints. I don't have any of that stuff. I... I work from home, I have my own little business, and uh, it, it keeps me keeps me afloat while I work on this as much as I can. So anyways, I must thank you guys for helping me out with all the little things, and just being here to support me. Now, as I always exit off, you can always come and watch me over on Twitch. There's lots of people there that are hanging out, and we're just shooting the shit, and having some fun, and doing some devin. So if you guys are interested in any of that, be sure to look at the link below and uh, come visit me. I'm always on Saturdays, and I sometimes stream during the week too. Anyways, that's it for this devlog. I hope to see you soon. Thanks. Bye.